Folks, this just in over the wire. We got a hot new merch drop, Gippy. Merch drop, baby. From November 8th to the November 18th, Ooh. you can get your limited edition Tootie's Goodies, We're baby. We're asking everyone to remain calm. <laughs> We're going to have a real Black Friday situation on our hands. We got Bernie's tees and hoodies. We got Tootie's tees. We got Tootie's tees and, and hoodies. We got Bonko's. We got Bonko's tees and hoodies, guys. Uh, the link will be in the description. Get Go to bonfire.com slash short slash are you garbage. Limited edition. Only available for 10 or 11 days. Get them while they're available. Get the holiday orders in now. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. You got it. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day. We're down here. Yeah. Toadie's timeshare. Woo. We didn't get remodeled. We relocated for a couple of days. Toadie got a timeshare. She went to the pitch. She thought she was just going to use it for the trip to Florida, but they sold her hook, line, and sinker. She bought into it. Ah, they saw a whale walking in the lot when she rolled in. Yeah, I see one right now. (laughs) (laughs) Timeshare down in Houston, and she found out Skankfest was here. Oh, baby. First weekend, we're down here having a good time. It's a good time. My co-host is coming at you from across the chair. I mean, I just felt very... Phil Donahue right yeah, there. Is, My co-host feel is like coming gonna, at you. feel like we're going to read DNA test later. <laughs> Kevin James Ryan is here, everybody. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to row. Fucking cooking, baby. And then I would be a fucking asshole if I didn't mention the greatest website of all time. www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. Check it out. You get all the fucking bonus content, videos, episodes, live streams, the whole nine yards. Over. 100 million hours of bonus content. <laughs> 100 million. Best in the business. Except Tim Dillon, Andrew Schultz, come town, and, and Matt and Shane. Other than that, we're doing all right. And speaking of which, I'm a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. He set this whole thing up. All right. Great job, buddy. Yeah. We all love you. T Bone McMuffin. It's Toby McMullen. God damn it. Yeah, they, they said it was good, so I don't even know shit in the YouTube comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is sick. Dude, talk about the mutants at Table Nine. Skankfest is popping, dude. Yeah, it's wild. It's a wild scene over there. <laughs> it's a That's fucking neck tattoo convention. I feel attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Foley's a Skankfest Nine. Woo! I'll take it. Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest back with us again today. Down here in Houston with us, he is the host of the Josh Potter Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Josh Potter. What's up? What's up? <laughs> you got two Bud Lights in your hand. <laughs> you didn't do that, ironically. Nope. <laughs> I'm still holding that over. That one in the Bud Weiser, the frogs. Yeah. Those Budweiser frogs were pretty good. Dude, they were cooking. What does it say about us as a society when that kind of shit sweeps us up? The California raisins were all dancing around. <laughs> we're doing it. The Budweiser frogs just, they ran so Bad Baby can, you know, whatever she does. Yeah, exactly. Whatever, you know, the name of the predecessor does. to Bad yeah. Baby. Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> that was well, a new Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we're in person, though. Last this, time we had to do first dumb time Zoom. We're in person. Yeah, yeah, Quarantine yeah. Quarantine This is great. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. You were early on, too. You were probably yeah. two summers ago, right? It was, we had, it was we during were, the quarantine. I know that. Yeah. Um, and you had one of my favorites just to touch on that. You said you grew up by a off ramp. I grew up on a four lane highway. <laughs> <laughs> he said he could see, he could see the toll booth. That's right. We could hear, uh, I fell asleep to the sounds of trucks downshifting. <laughs> <laughs> fell asleep to the sounds of only exact change. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, they still have toll booth workers in those toll booths. It's not like you throw it in the. It's not like the carnival game ones. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, the ring toss. They have people that give you the tickets and take your money and everything like that. Oh, man. I saw the hottest chick I've ever seen in one of those toll booths. Really? Like, to the point where I gave her the money and I was like, so I'm like, what the fuck is going? On? And I left, and I wanted to like go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, just I forgot to, something. Just to be like, why are you? Yeah. Or like, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I've had that. Same kind of uh, thought process my entire life. Whenever I go into um, 
the McDonald's on West 4th Street had this girl that worked there that was literally a fucking supermodel. And then there was a CVS around the corner in the West Village mm-hmm. that had another girl, same supermodel. I wanted to look and be like, what are you doing I working know. here? Yeah. yeah you Hasn't like, anybody seen you ever? What's happening? Uh, did you hear him speak at all? No. I don't know. <laughs> if they had a certain uh, affection, maybe you'd be like, oh, yeah. that's why they work here. <laughs> yeah. There's probably some some neck tattoos. Missing a couple. That'll be forty eight fifty. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she's smoking hot, but she's missing a few chromosomes. Turns out. <laughs> uh, also, too, I wanted to bring up. There was one that you. I like how Kippy's holding court back. There. I feel these chairs really. I feel powerful. I really do. I, I feel, feel like, like I'm on a sports too podcast. Far up. Right? I'm gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> Give or make the five on Cleveland. What's the deal? <laughs> Dwight Howard's out tonight. <laughs> Kippy, what's your take on that? Well, you know, Foley. Uh, no, you, because uh, people, we were talking about it. I think it was, do you pull, uh, and then everyone's like, you got to have, you got to talk to Bob. Oh, my God. That's right. Do you pull. We tried to call you. We were going to call you on air the one time. Okay. Um, but it was like, do you unbutton when you're at a urinal? Oh, we had a whole debate on my podcast about this. So it's when you're at a urinal, yep. do you go through the fly? Over, do you unbutton? And people are like, you got to talk to fucking Bob. Yeah, I did a whole uh, study on this. And <laughs> oh, God. Because I'm a, I'll say what I am immediately. I'm a through the fly guy. Wow. And <laughs> when I heard that there are so many over there, I did a poll and I did multiple polls. 60 to 40 people go over the top. Really? I found out I'm a, in a rare a rare breed. I thought I was the most common. I don't I don't mean to discredit your scientific establishment sure. or, or the <laughs> scientist that you employed. Sure. This isn't a Wuhan situation. I'm not accusing. Okay. But there's no way the number's that high. Nobody goes through the fly. No, no, no. no he's uh, saying I, I'm doing the reverse. Over. I was I was in the minority. Yeah. Oh, okay. Forty percent. Right. Most goes people the go fly. through. That's the, uh, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Still, even forty percent. There's no way forty percent goes through the fly. I, I. It's you and another guy. The way that this debate that still lives wait. at home. That's it. <laughs> it's you and one dude that works at a bowling alley. I understood what he said. I'm saying the numbers are juiced. <laughs> it's still high. I see the way that this came up. I was on a family vacation. Oh God. And uh, not- you can't pull other potters. <laughs> other potters can't be the test group. Yeah, it's in your bloodline. You all go through. The whole <laughs> one of my cousins and I were like, everyone. Are we are we talking about over the jeans or over the the underwear? I, I mean, just complete. I I don't know what you animals do when you go over the top. <laughs> I go through the fly both holes. Really? This guy's That's, crawling through I'm, the wire you're like D-Day. It, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I you're I, snaking it. Yeah. That's a lot of zigzags. You got to go back and forth a couple of times. I you found, must be packing some heat, Potter. I found the shortcut. Well, that's what I said, too, but somebody was like, it's big dick energy to go over. Kelsey Cook came on. She was like, I think it's big dick energy to go over the top. And I'm like, don't come on here and slander and slander like my, that. my well, average unit. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I can also refute that because <laughs> 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 I go over the top and uh, I have no dick energy. Here's what I don't understand. Do you undo the whole belt and everything? I do. So I do undo the whole belt and then I'll go over the underwear. That's just such wild maintenance. That's not. Me. That's normal. That's what a normal guy would do. That's, that doesn't that's make normal. any sense to me. I just go zip. I pull it out. I've done. Ex- I've done experiments with these these jeans on my show where I've zipped the fly. I'm like, I can put my whole arm through this. Yeah, Why are people scared about their dick hitting the zipper? Like, what kind of animal are you with your dick? <laughs> that is. I do see what you're saying. I think for maybe a while I would go. I don't know. But why my- is the fly there then? It's Street. it's like when you go to buy a, a cheap point. tuxedo and they put that fake uh, handkerchief in there that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's so all it is. Yeah. It's just for show, man. It's just for show. Yes, it's just for show. I just don't understand. If it's would you there, wear boxers or box? What do you what do you wear? I wear boxer briefs. That's even crazier. But dude. they still have a fly. If you wore, yeah, but it's it's it. it that's not it. straight. That's a you got to you got to go. If you right, have boxers, all right, that's like the now, PCH. I will say this. It's a straight shot through. Yeah. As a blind man, I'm often doing things without looking, so I can probably navigate a fly like that pretty quickly without looking at it. By t- my his, t- his my other, sense his of senses, yeah. his other senses have developed. My other my, <laughs> that's like Denzel Washington yeah. putting a gun together. My <laughs> <just does> <laughs> My senses are heightened in terms of touch and feel, so I can <laughs> fucking daredevil over here. Yeah, exactly. But I couldn't believe the study. And what I've what I've deduced, <laughs> the study. The study. It's all right. Yeah. It's not a study. What I've deduced though is that <laughs> <laughs> you asked a bunch of your dirtbag cousins at a cookout. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, they all go through the fly. We were in Daytona Beach. And, and they all uh, like mayonnaise sandwiches, yeah. which is weird. <laughs> Two of the cousins are kissing. <laughs> we were like, I, but I swear to God, I, 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 this is my takeaway from it, that we who go through the fly, though rare... <laughs> Are more, <laughs> he's, he's, dude, he's so fucking. Well, once again, take above, take <laughs> yeah. over the the underground. Well, that's it. We're more of a. It's 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 the same thing. It's like McDonald's sells a million hamburgers a day. How many people are eating ribeyes a day? That's the way I look at it. Uh, ribeye steaks. Yes, it's a little more. You know, just because it's not done amongst the collective unwashed necessarily there you know we're still upper crust you know what i'm saying that's what it that is. says so much about how garbage you are that the ribeye is the one that you went yeah. with <laughs> you didn't do filet yeah, yeah order you house have, you can have hamburger you can have some hanger steak <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> some good stomach it's either you're a chuck wagon or your flank steak in my world, baby. Shout out to flag steak. Hell yeah, dog. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> skirt steak. Oh, skirt, skirt steak's skirt. big around my place. Yeah. <laughs> my stepdad and some skirt steak, forget about it. Did your, did your mom do London broil when you were young? That was like the big thing with us, a London broil. I got a London broil. Yeah, yeah. That was just Which, that big log of meat, right? No idea what part of the cow that's <laughs> it from. It seems very fancy. Well, yeah. London, you think London, yeah, right? you go, that's fancy. It's not broil. Broil, <laughs> you're not just broil. You don't broil it anything. It seems like a fancy word. It's I don't a- know how to prepare something. <laughs> yeah, but all, all it is is like a, a shit. It's like the other side of the New York Strip on, on a cow. <laughs> you know what my mom only made? Growing up was that chicken that you'd put in a bag with carrots and oh, shit. Dude, I chicken in a bag, it. and it, it would be in a bag. It was chicken. <laughs> it was chicken. That in a, seems like the plastics. The, that's that, what I'm saying. The, it, it they had it, into it's it getting into it. That, yeah. you're going through a chemical change on that plastic. They say you're don't not, even reuse a bottle of water. Like now we're cooking in a bag. They're yeah. unbelievable. It's they do a chicken one and they do a pot roast one. My mom used to do that too. It's still in like a tray. But it's all in a bag. Oh, yeah, it's garbage. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, and then you cut that, like, wet, oh, sweaty bag oh, open. Oh, I can feel Remember it. Remember you wanted to stand around while your mom cut it? Like, yeah, cut it open. No, I up. actually hated it, dude. Yeah, it that's was, insane. Like, it really you made me, like. your mom cut the bag open. No, I, I have, like, PTSD great. over that meal. <laughs> my mom still can only cook. Like, Thanksgiving, so my sister and I made my mom stop cooking on Thanksgiving. We're like. We'll get Bob Evans. Like we'll oh get whatever. My God. Stop cooking. So you guys please. do order you order in now? Yeah, we just we get or we go to a different family. My mom, she would cook she would think she was cooking. She'd be microwaving like canned green beans and oh, be like they turn real my, green. I brought Wait, a girlfriend on. You, home. Had Bob Evans on Thanksgiving? Or what is it? Boston Market, maybe? I don't know. That's worse, I think, to yeah. be honest. I think with Boston Market the best Thanksgiving I ever had, I lived in Cleveland and I got three family meals of Boston Market. Thanksgiving, and I watched. It was the first year that they did three football games on Thanksgiving. Jesus and I watched Christ, them all. Potter. It was the best. It was the, the year that the, the Harbaugh. Remember the Harbaugh? It was John Harbaugh versus Jim Harbaugh, San Francisco. Who Baltimore. are you with? You got three of them by himself. For I was sure. all alone, dog. Yeah, for dessert he made pipe bombs. They were. For the, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, my apartment looked like yeah. that. Apartment at the time was an air mattress, a lamp, and a television set that sat next to the air mattress. And I swear to God, I had the cops called on me like four times because people thought I was squatting in there. Yeah. That or you're playing in the next 9-11. I, you dude, fucking yeah. wacko. It was a basement. It was one of those basement ones, too. So you had to like, the windows were at the roof. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. Subterranean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. good. You see the footsteps. Oh, dude, man. it was... There's dogs peeing in your window and stuff. That's oh, a house dude. to get squatted. <laughs> yeah, you just see feet walk by. It was so weird watching feet walk by and... A hobo takes a piss on your... Holy Mommy, shit. who lives there? Nobody lives there, honey. <laughs> there was no carpet either. Tile floor, right? It was all actually carpet. Ooh, that's even and worse. The, and the uh, the appliances were immaculate. I never used them, <laughs> but they were wonderful. The, the kitchen appliances. Yeah. They were the steel ones. You the know? stainless steel ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First wow. time I ever had Th- those. Those have kind of... Uh, people are figuring that out. They got... Yeah, they're, they're like slapping them on shitty ones. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. They're yeah, like televisions yeah. are just as cheap as... 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but know, back in the day, you wanted those... You roll up and someone has stainless It's like a fucking steel. DeLorean. Yeah, oh, yeah. What the fuck? Fucking sweet. I did want to ask you that. Um, as you said, pod's working out very well. Couple of bucks coming in. Yes, new money. So two questions. One, was there an irrational huge purchase? At any time ever. Like, do you ever get like a one big check from something? You're like, I'm going to do this. I, this is the one time probably, and I haven't, uh, I'll say I did one responsible thing. I paid off my credit card, which is like, it's great. The most responsible thing I ever had. That was at like seven grand. 
Okay. And I paid it down from. It was the only. I only had this credit card when I moved to L.A. Wait, did you not pay it completely so let me off? T- no, I, I paid it off. I'll say it started at fifteen grand, and I was paying it off over nice. four years. I got it down to like half, and then I just paid it the rest of it. Love that. Ooh. That's but a power. Move. Do you want to so know what I was? Fifteen grand. Do you know how I racked right up that debt? It was simply I moved to L.A. four years ago. I had none of this debt, and I had no job, and I made myself two Venmo accounts. So that I could commit credit card fraud against myself, essentially, what? and forward like cash advances from my credit card to myself via Venmo and avoid the fees. And Venmo caught me and shut me down. But I was giving myself money from my credit card into my bank. I think what saying, "Hey, this is not like I, I was Venmoing myself." Yeah. Yes, but then would you say like I didn't authorize this charge? Or Toby, something? call the feds, no, no, no. Please. I would, I would, I would say that I authorized it, but I was avoiding <laughs> the fees. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like, oh, I see what you're saying. And so Venmo caught me, and they were like, "You can't do that." You should have been like, "No, well, if I, I can't." You're avoiding so. the credit card fees by yes. taking like the, the, the cash ATM. advance fees. I was basically going. Yes, I was going like. Five hundred dollars to myself, then going to the ATM and having the cash. Five hundred dollars, yes, exactly. Ooh. And not, and the credit card company wasn't charging right. you five hundred and fifteen dollars right. or whatever. And they caught me. That's pretty fucking good. Make, I got to give you they that. They can pay it back or anything. No, it's just Venmo made me shut down the one account and. It's I'd bad when Venmo calls you and is like, "Hey, you got to knock it off." Yeah, you're, and not, you're not doing a the sex right... worker or anything <laughs> like that. You know. <laughs> Wait, you're just a broke podcaster. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you're not blowing anybody for this money. I'm that, sorry, I can't have you. I do paid this. my rent with that credit card for like eight months though, Dude, which was oh, just off cash awesome. advances. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but you have a fifteen thousand dollars credit limit. Uh, I had a higher one than that, and then uh, because my mother's name was attached to and it, PayPal got a hold of me. She didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn Cash App oh, yeah. had their hands all over me. I had Nicki a, Minaj showed up and arrested you. That was the thing. So this credit card was like, I think, like my mom gave me a credit card a long time ago when I was like, a, she was, a, she was garbage. She did the thing where she was trying to make her credit better so she by putting it in you. my name. Oh. Yes, this is when I was like a baby. Bag. When I was like a baby, I had this credit oh. card. <laughs> so I said, "This is the time to use it." I'm moving to LA. I need this to advance my life, and so she let me have it. And then when it got up to ten grand, she started freaking out, <laughs> and she was like, "You're I've hurting my a monster." <laughs> you're, yeah, you're hurting my credit too. So I stopped <laughs> using it, and I paid her. Paid, I paid it off though, all at once. But then the other thing I did was all right. So that's the responsible thing. There was a girl that I've always wanted to sleep with. From back Jesus home, Christ. that uh, we have always talked or whatever. I flew her to L.A. I got Ooh. a room at the Ritz. What? Yeah, and then uh, we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't fuck me, but we had a nice time. We t- she did though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to this fat bastard. <laughs> You had sex at the Ritz? Hell yeah! Damn, dude. that's dude. what I'm talking that's about. That's new money. Love yes. that. It I- was. It felt just opulent. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell her it was from podcast money? She knows. <laughs> She's watching right now. I love you, baby. <laughs> what was that? That was a weekend. It was. Uh, it was just this past Monday, Tuesday. Oh, it's night. just now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this. You're just coming. Dude, off I of just this. got the money. <laughs> <laughs> I still own a rich three grand. <laughs> I gotta call Venmo. Yeah, <laughs> they'll take care of that. Yeah, it was just this past Monday, t- Monday night, Tuesday night. Wow. Monday, Tuesday Dude, at the Ritz. talk about new money. Kid, <laughs> kid gets a check, flies out the girl that he's always had a crush on from high school to the Ritz. Holy Bangs shit. Bangs are in the Ritz. On a Monday. It wasn't high school, but you know. Or whatever. A long time Sorry, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> high school would have made it more romantic. Yeah. <laughs> she was just some bartender from back home. <laughs> <laughs> That I've always had a crush on, though. She's she's beautiful. Sure. She's lovely. Yeah, Not I'm, just I'm, a bartender. What did that What did that cost you? All told, I didn't throw like the whole to weekend look at it, but probably you have a three, rough mark. Probably three grand Woo! with everything included. Because I this is what I did, dude. Oh, Baller man. move. I I flew. I didn't get her first class ticket, but I gave her like extra leg room. You Delta know? comfort or something. <laughs> little. Uh, I upped her to base. You know. A little higher than basic economy, economy yeah. that's all. How'd Preferred. you like that extra bag of cheese? That's that's yeah. 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 I bet that made you wet, right? You come out of a robe. <laughs> you feel good about that exit robe <laughs> that I paid for? But I also, you know what I did? I got the uh, the town car. Whoa. Wait, with the sign? Yes. No way. Holy but shit. dude, get this. What? This is what I found out too. I don't know if you've ever tried to Uber out of LAX. But it's not much more expensive just to get a fucking just to get town a fucking car. Town car, yeah. It's only like eighty dollars more to get a town car. Did the guy have the sign and all? Yes, that stuff? I had him go inside. Josh's girl. Yeah, <laughs> I had him go inside with it and everything. Hey, Buffalo whore. <laughs> 
I'm kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. We got a ball. We got a guy for just woman. a bartender. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Dude, that, see, that's what I'm fucking talking about. That's, that's the answer I've been looking for, asking that question for the last fucking six that's months. That's amazing. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do something else fun with it. I came here. That was part yeah, of it. Yeah, if I came here hanging, that's fucking yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's too normal. Let's get crazy. Well, like, <laughs> uh, you know, as a road comic, you know, sometimes you can't go to all the places you'd like to go. You know, you have to go to the gigs and then you're stuck until the next gig. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool to get to come down here and hang out. It's awesome. Dude, fucking that's love fucking that, dude. Awesome. That's the that might be the that's one of the best answers we've ever had. Oh, I think. It's fucking <laughs> and the fact that it was this week, I'm chubbing up over here. Yeah, dude, it just happened because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stoked. Kip, let's talk about the good people at Ladder. Oh yeah. Uh, you want to make sure your uh, things are in order, gang. Term life insurance is something you got to look into, and Ladder makes it easy. Mm-hmm. Got to check them out. Yeah, it's one hundred percent digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for three million dollars in coverage or less. Just need a few minutes and a phone or a laptop. And Ladder Smart algorithms work in real time, so you find out if you're instantly approved. If you prefer to talk to a person, their licensed team of agents doesn't work on commission, so they'll help you and not upsell you. Mm. They'll get what's right for you. No hidden fees, the whole nine yards. Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now is the time to cross it off your list. So go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Kip, you like a little dad grass? Ooh. Or mom grass. Or mom grass. Either one. I know back in my day, I used to like to puff the Chiba. Uh-huh. Smoke the doobie. Sure. Pull some bong hits. I'm listening. But nowadays, you really don't want that heavy, high feeling. You're a mature man now. But with dad grass, mm-hmm. it's like having just a nice glass of wine rather than a whole bottle. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Dadgrass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body, mellows your mind. 100% organic pre-rolled joints are very low in THC, but high in CBD, so you can enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping your head clear. Keeping your head clear. Don't get all too fogged up. All nah. Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 21 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the good old U.S. of A. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash garbage. Go to dadgrass.com slash garbage. 20% off your first order. One more time. Write it down. Dadgrass.com slash garbage. Do it. I was going to ask you. I know you're mostly a homebody. Mm-hmm. But will the, will the, because this is just the first in a long line. Things are going to be much better from now on. Sure. Checks ain't stopping. No. Money's coming in. Yes, exactly. Now, will you start to. A little more fine dining, a little more this. I'm not, little I do diet's like, not great, right? I do like a restaurant. No, okay. my diet's actually not terrible. I'm not a garbage food person, necessarily. I have like tendencies. Never eat the like, Boston Market. Yeah, you meal. would never eat like three Boston Market <laughs> Thanksgiving dinners. Yeah. In, a subter- special, <laughs> in a subterranean <laughs> basement. In Cleveland. <laughs> nothing, we're, nothing like that. And say, it was, and say it was the best Thanksgiving ever. <laughs> they had three games on. They had Bears. They had the Browns played. It was a great the Harbaugh, baby, the Harbaugh. I, uh, I mean, my diet's not terrible. I do like going out to dinner, though. What's a, what's is, like a dinner? I'm sorry, you know, a fucking a ribeye. No, I, uh, <laughs> no, I do like a steak. Someone made fun of me because I, uh, I was out with, uh, with, with Tom Segura this past weekend. And we went out to dinner every time. I mean, the dinner's there. What's our, that? Yeah, that's got to be bunko. That's crazy. It's also, unbelievable. You go out to dinner, it's got. You know, the, t- the everything's got truffles. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> everything's got, the truffles got truffles. The truffles got truffles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You want you want sparkling water with truffles. I mean, it's crazy. But uh, well, I always spark- get a steak. Sparkling you know? water. I'm sorry. Is sparkling water foreign to you? I love it. You love when it. they okay, have good. when they go sparkling or tap. I go. This is a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> they all do it now. I'm tipping twelve percent here. <laughs> At a Wendy's, really? All right. Ah, uh, and then they got the glass bottles. Uh, yeah, no, nice. those are bad. Always get the not. The, You're saying the sparkling in the glass. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. But yeah. when the when the when the restaurant just has regular tap water in like an old wine bottle, never do it. No, no, no. They got to have a seal. Of course. Yeah, that's right. true. No, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me once. <laughs> you know what I like doing too? I'm learning too. I like doing like I went to the Ritz. You know. And I, I, I go in there. I'm really pretty womaning this whole thing. You know sure. what I mean? Like I walk in, I look like this. Yeah. I feel like they're gonna tell me to get the hell out. Well, and it's then... also I've been like when we go to like, we'll go to like nice places, dress like fucking idiots. Yeah. And I just I just 
I, Toby's like, well, man, the one time he's like, dude, look at us. We look like fucking idiots. I'm like, they don't know. We could be Bitcoin rich. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, that's they don't what fucking I say. Know. They go, I could be on TikTok. They yeah, don't they don't fucking know what's going on. these guys. Yeah. yeah. What if I'm a rapper? <laughs> <laughs> you could be, I could be a little dicky or some shit. They don't fucking know. Instead, yeah. you're importing some day bartender from yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the other fear. They go, I don't want them to think I'm a sex trafficker or yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> Just Eastern European women following you. Be very alert going through the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's too funny. That's so you are great. stepping out a little bit more. I, I am having a great deal of fun. A great deal. Of Love fun. that. Yeah. I and can't do you wait. feel the palettes getting a little more expanded? Yeah, no, of are course. Are you trying new things? I'd lo- I love trying all the new things. I don't like lobster. I've learned. I'm, I'm a crab guy. I, I like, like crab. I think that's just how trashy we are genetically, yes. generationally. Like, yes. If I... Lobster, I just don't get them. I'm like, but I'll take fucking crab. What well, do you like about lobster? The autopsy part of it. I just can't. The autopsy <laughs> part of it. I don't like taking its shit out of its butt. I don't like. Uh, it's my favorite part. Seeing its eyes. Yeah. It's looking at me. It's just all there, and you got to, like, conduct this, like, you're breaking it and shit. I can't. I can't do it. It's like crabs. It's just legs. So you don't even know. You're just like, oh, okay. Yeah. You don't know where this came from. It's like yeah. chicken wings. You know what I mean? You don't see. It. They don't put the beak on there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> chicken wings of the sea. Yeah. It's got sunglasses on. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh God. But yeah, I, like I don't. Uh, I, I I I'm trying to think of any like extravagant foods I have had lately, and I I just can't. Truffle's I usually go pretty good. Steak. Yeah, the truffle all caviar that, sushi. Are you a sushi? Oh, guy? I love sushi. Well, West Coast. That's the thing. All the seafood is sushi. So I mean, really, you can get some garbage sushi too. Whereas like East Coast seafood, I miss a lot. Crab, clams, that yeah. kind of shit. I would just love to have a bucket of fucking clams. They don't have that shit in L. A. You know, I love like a clam bake. Because what's a normal dinner when you're at home by yourself? What would you be making? Oh, I just eat. I eat like a can of tuna fish. I eat like the fuck. Like I'm in Taxi Driver. I swear. <laughs> I'm like fucking psychopath when the, I eat alone. Do you like, eat out of the can? Oh yeah. What really? the fuck? I, I don't like dishes. Man, you don't I, put anything on it. Salt, pepper. I do a little olive oil and uh, some salt. You don't do the. You don't get the tuna that's in olive oil, right? You get the tuna in water. Yeah. Okay. Drain yeah, the yeah. water. Drain the water. You ever see that? Do you ever, you ever by accident buy one? Where it's tuna and oil? Uh, I don't know that I have. Dude, it's fucking disgusting. I, it's I thought that would be good. good. Oh, no? man. Have it's you ever a... bought salmon in a can? Oh, by, my God. By accident. Uh, <laughs> I gave it to the cat. <laughs> yeah, no I thought I was being fancy doing it. What? What? <laughs> I'm like, oh, salmon. I love how his brain works. I <laughs> thought I was being fancy getting salmon in a can. Well, you know, they got the albacore. They got the <laughs> salmon. I thought the salmon was like next next level up. Sure. Ah, uh, yes, my lady. I'll have the <laughs> Pellegrino, please. And what do you have in a can tonight? <laughs> it's real good. It's mostly net. <laughs> <laughs> they get out most of the net. <laughs> it says some dolphin. <laughs> some dolphin. <laughs> hey, I got a bobber in mine. <laughs> hey, we're trying our best. <laughs> a bobber? Ooh, a lure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into some cues. Let's Hell yeah. Do it. Oh, my we God. We got you here, buddy. Thank you for coming down. Thanks for having us. us. I this love, is nice. I love We're your show so in. much. This is great. Um, uh, guys, so as you know, when you join the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on air. We get flooded with a bunch of them. This is just the best way to do it. We appreciate all the support. As always, Patreon gets first crack at it because they're the homies. The homies. The rest of you are bozos. Bozos. But we love all of you. Obviously. Of course. Um, this one's just a home run. This is from David Smith. Uh, it just says car freshener somewhere other than a car. <laughs> that's got to be bad. Yeah, you got one in the closet or something. <laughs> that's hanging next de- to your suit. That's just deodorant. Oh, my God. You remember those? Uh, do you have a favorite air freshener, by the way, flavor? Yeah, I'll, I'll go like, I'll typically. Wait, hold on. Are we talking about the car just in general? I'm talking air freshener car. Okay. I'll typically go old school, like the lemons, like the yellow one. Or it's like always a, the tree. The tropical mist or whatever. There's like a, there's like a baby blue tropical something. Not trying cool to get. breeze or so. Not trying to get problematic, but there is a flavor. I don't know if flavor is the right word. <laughs> but uh, Fully eats them, so yeah, it is a flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I like the turkey dinner. But the, uh, the. Scent of it's called black ice. Oh, that's the trashiest <laughs> one, dude. That's you th- the, I yeah. thought that was the it's best, the best one. No, it's, the best. it's so trashy. It smells like a. It's like Mike Epps is driving my car. <laughs> that's what I feel like. 
<laughs> like the coolest black guy ever is driving this car. Yeah, That's the way I, I'm I don't like, know. This smells like a cool black guy. I just think every time I've gotten in someone with black that like all my friends would have it growing up, it's like it just smells like blunts. It just smells it, like yeah. blunt. Yeah. And it's like Hell yeah. yeah, I just equate it with like, yeah, this I'm is like, this is an immature guy riding around <laughs> listening to rap smoking blunts. No, uh-huh. but the origin of it, the origin of it. When it first came out, it was hot. It was cool because it did have the cool black guy smell. Yeah, it's almost it has a very Dracar Noir. Yes. Yeah, yes. which I think is trashy as well. No, it's not classic. It, now it is because it's because it's been, it's been used. But back in the day, see that one dude that's got that on that nobody else had it on. Fucking chain killing it to run DMC. But I do do real the, cool. I did put the black guy's air freshener in my bathroom. What? As like a air freshener. Yeah, I didn't mean I didn't think you did it as for decoration. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the smell of it so much. I'm like, I want my bathroom to smell like. Wow. It. But then I, it doesn't work. I mean, <laughs> it's Some a fucking car there. air. It smells like an Uber in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How long have you been driving for Lyft? <laughs> <laughs> you got floor mats in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> the, t- the, the toilet has those beads. <laughs> <laughs> There's a steering wheel cover on the knobs. <laughs> Um, do you have a car? Those, though. I don't. I haven't driven a car since I moved to LA. Right, I thought that was the I'm city at, where you have to drive. Yeah, yeah I I, uh, I take uh, public transit and I walk okay. and I take Ubers. I just uh, I said when I moved, no more driving. Partly because of the eyes. Oh yeah, that's right. Partly because of the I'm bad at it anyhow, and I got some things. I was driving around a lot. <laughs> I got some things. I used to breeze over that. I yeah. was poor. I used to drive around a lot with like inspections being lapsed sure. and yeah, oh, yeah. a lot yeah. of suspended license arrests in my past. So I was like, I don't even want to bother with it. So when I moved, I said I wouldn't drive. Now the idea of driving a car terrifies me, honestly. When sure. you get away from it a little bit. Yeah, I don't yeah. I, I honestly don't like driving that much. It scares me. Everybody's you. a maniac out there. Yeah, I don't even It's so funny uh Brandon Schaub had that story where he like saved children from a burning car. Do you see that story? Yeah, I vaguely remember that. That's he awesome. was like driving by and they saw a burning car in this ch- child or whatever. Holy shit! I'm thinking in my head like, I ride around in Ubers all the time with my headphones. I'm just looking at my phone. They're saying stuff to me. Even if a guy was like, "There's a burning car over there," I would have been like, "Uh huh." Yeah, I would have yeah, just like looked yeah. at my phone. How long have you been driving for Uber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have even answered him like that. I would have just been like, "Uh huh." I would have been like. Double tapping on some ass on Instagram or something. <laughs> hey, you know? hey, Bozo, make a red on Fairfax, yeah. will you? <laughs> How often would I just not even notice that, yeah. even if I was driving? That's what I. And then you know, so I, I don't want to drive a fucking car ever again. I, I'm a stopper. I like that. When it comes to things like that, I'm a stopper. Usually, unless it's real hairy. But no matter whether I'm driving, I'd or not, like to hope I was a stopper, but yeah. I don't know that I would notice it. That's the other thing. I don't think I can really help in those situations. So I'm like, what, what am mean? I going to do? If you pull by and there were, there were people inside of a car. I mean, like, if you're, like, proper first fuck, if it happens in front of you and I'm like, but if I'm sitting in traffic and then I, I'm, i like, the 50th car to pass, someone, you know, there's someone stopped. Right. They got it. Someone's yeah. got it. <laughs> you what am of, I going to do? You get out of the Uber and walk. <laughs> That's the worst when you leave an Uber driver hanging in traffic. I've done that. <laughs> I'm going to hop oh my God. Yeah, I'm like, buddy, I got to go. I'm they sorry. I almost I put, get mad at you. Yeah, I put you in this position, and now you're turning the meter off. I've done that to make run. spots for sure. I've gotten out and run <laughs> at the uh, to make a spot. You know? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, damn, that's a good one. This is from Sausage and Peppers. Do you ever have gum stuck in your hair? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, how, what do you do to get it out? The peanut butter? That's the thing. I say, yeah, there's that. Or I think my sister used to use, uh, is there a cream of some kind or whatever? <laughs> he just said that like you were British. Is there a cream of some kind <laughs> yeah, I don't or something? I don't have any hair, so something I don't get with gum truffle stuck. In it. I, I, <laughs> I think ice would work, too. Ice, maybe? Ice? I yes, like a water. I think just water. I've heard ice. My aunt would do Hellman's mayonnaise. Ugh. Specifically Hellman's. I'd rather just have the gum. <laughs> Yeah, right? God damn. That's, That's like bad. what you do if you get sprayed by a skunk, I yeah. thought. <laughs> <laughs> tomato. tomato juice. <laughs> have you ever been sprayed by a skunk? Uh, I've had dogs get sprayed by skunks, oh. but I never. But basically, that's like the same thing. Just put lettuce and tomato on them? <laughs> <laughs> I've had to clean my dog with tomato juice a couple times. Really? Yeah, tomato Back juice. Back home, yeah. That's a fucking... What, do you do it in the bath? You feel Sometimes I'm like, it doesn't it smell... It just smells like bong hits. I'm like, I don't care. Let them be, but my mom would yeah. cry about hey, dogs it. Get, dogs got some pretty good butt on them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dog's just loud. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, damn, who's your, who's your plug now? <laughs> Sprinkles? <Yeah. laughs> um, That's trash. I've, I've got, sat I've, in gum on the train. 
oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah, where you like stand up and you're like, ah. Oh. Stepping and it's bad too, where you just like see it. You're like, what would you oh, rather step in gum or dog shit? Dude, I step in dog shit five or six times a year. I was just going to say. Brand new shit. It's always brand new shoes oh, no. and I throw them out right away. Throw the shoes out. I, yeah, just you don't go, even try to. Sell I'm them. never gonna get them back. I'm never gonna get them to the point where I don't know they were covered in dog shit. Uh, I was just gonna say that I haven't stepped in dog shit in probably thirty years. You guys live in New York. How are dogs are shit on the sidewalk? Eh? Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Thirty years. I've been. I swear to God, I feel like I haven't stepped in dog shit in thirty years. I had a bird shit on me a couple weeks ago. That's good luck. It's good luck. Not. But dog it's also use disgusting. It. I said we could use the good luck if you got it. <laughs> Fucking it's call that, good. pull that card. Well, Where did it land? The the bird shit it landed on my Bucky's hat. Oh, you got to be a Bucky's fan. Yeah, yeah, is that when you're in the South? Wait, Bucky's. It's like the we it's call it a, like a redneck Wawa kind of. I'm a Shoney's guy. What's Shoney? No, that's oh man, you're real trash. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a Shoney? Bucky's is like a convenience store. Oh, it's like okay. a gas station. It's like on the highway, and it's they have like not- jerky. Shoney's is where receptionists go to cheat on their husbands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shoney's- on a Wednesday. <laughs> Shoney's is like a low class Perkins. Oh my god! <laughs> no, it's not. It's Perkins is a low the, class Denny's. The same, yeah, it's at the same level as no, Perkins. Perkins is a high class. I think Denny's. Shoney's would even be a little it bit. It goes nicer. Perkins, Denny's, Shoney's. I don't know about that. I think per- I think- Perkins with the bread bowls, their menu was so expansive. <laughs> their menu was so expansive. They were like the Cheesecake Factory of diners. With oh, my bowls. God. <laughs> I think Shoney's has uh, stuffed mushrooms, though. It's just Ooh. sort of a classy establishment. When they got that Good the shakes at a Shoney's, there. too. <laughs> and a claw machine, always. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean on a claw machine. I can't believe you've never seen a Shoney's. Though. I, wear, I don't know where they are. They're only in the South. No, nah, yeah. there, was, there was one in Philly for a little while. We used to go in college mm. all the time. Uh, I never heard of it. Not as classy as a hula hands. Ooh, hula hands. That's, really like, nice. that's like legit happy hour fucking 80s kind of move right there. Yeah, hula hands was great. Yeah. Big Pop. fan. A lot of <laughs> hell of a chicken finger in that place. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know what they put in that honey mustard, but it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, I assume I know you like a, you like a nice Bud Light from time to time. This one's from Frank. Uh, you ever use a beer to take a vitamin or a pill? Yes. Really? <laughs> a lot. I've I've shotgun Z- I've shotgun beers to take Xanax. What? Just for fun. I mean, that was yeah. It like, sounds like a hoot. Yeah, it was just for like a. Yeah, trip. we don't need you drive it anywhere. Yeah, the, the yeah more I don't I think about it. I don't want. Yeah, that's the point. I was like, <laughs> it's such a relief off my shoulders knowing that's not an opportunity. You yeah, know like you'll I mean? never get a DUI yeah. again. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, good. again, exactly. I don't. I got the first one. Yeah, I just. I assumed. I took one look at you. I yeah, I know. I got. I got one back in aught nine. Aught nine. Yeah. But to be clear, I think Kevin meant like a Tylenol or something like that. No, this, the question <laughs> actually was daily vol- multivitamin a daily vitamin, or antidepressant. Oh, yeah. So I have taken oh, just a Tylenol PM or an Advil with a beer, too. Yeah. yeah I've done nice. Advil with beers. Yeah. yeah, 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 put, yeah. You, put you out. Night, night. Exactly. Go see you buys. What is your... <laughs> <laughs> Man, C-P-Bice. we say that a lot on the show. <laughs> That's so weird. Go night, night with my yeah. PMs. <laughs> Take it to sheep you down. <laughs> uh, what is your method of taking a pill? This normally? was big. What do you mean by that? Pop it in your mouth, take a drink of water. I can dry them. I do, I do dry That's a lot. Hardcore. I like Bare that. back in it. Can you dry? Yeah. Can you dry? I can do multiple dries too, like big yeah, I tablets. Do. I can do the whole thing. Yeah. I can it, pop sometimes it you get a little. Ah, it's up in here somewhere, but you get it down. They say Jesus that's terrible Christ. for you. Is yeah. it? Yeah, that you're supposed to take it with water for like the digestion and like how the medicine breaks up. And I'll literally just pop it in my mouth. And a woman to told me one time at an office that I worked at for like three months that if you take Tylenol with a Diet Coke, it works faster. It probably the bubbles probably what? dissolve it quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes Ooh. sense. So then I was I was doing that for a minute too. She wasn't a doctor. <laughs> no, she she had the same job as I did. Yeah, she so. was at Shoney's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if you take those with Diet Coke, they hit you. Hard. Yeah, that's what I was like. She was right, doing with a lot of pins, but <laughs> I'll yeah, bring I, the nachos. I want to try that theory with all the pills. <laughs> that's trash. Oh man, <laughs> gang, let's talk about Brooklinen. Oh baby, Brooklinen. Let's talk about self care. Let's talk about the long year that it's been, the ups and downs that we've gone through. Self-care is going to be one of them, and that starts with a good night's sleep. It starts with bedding. Mm-hmm. Get good bedding. They got good bedding. They got good towels, too. They sent me a whole box of them, John. Yeah, they do. I feel like I'm, at the, I feel like I'm at the Ritz-Carlton, Ooh. baby. Ooh. Treat yourself. Pamper yourself with a little Brook Linen. Yeah, Brook Linen was started to create beautiful, high-quality home essentials that don't cost an arm and a leg. And people, let me tell you... 
What a success. They're cooking. Uh, they have something for every comfort you need. Ideal for, uh, you know, if they're launching new products, colors, patterns, the whole nine yards. I'm talking buttery soft, breathable sheets, because that's how I talk. Plush and absorbent towels, cozy robes. Comfy, soft. <laughs> comfy lounge wear. I like buttery soft. Uh, you'll want to put it on and never take it off. Uh, like I said, they sent us a whole box. Me and, me and my lady are using it. It's great. The towels. Super soft. Oh, plush. Kippy likes it. Plush. Uh, so give yourself the comfort. Refresh. You deserve and get it for less at Brooklyn and go to brooklinen.com. Use our promo code garbage for $20 off with a minimum, minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen, B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code garbage for $20 off with a minimum purchase of a hundo. That's brooklinen.com, promo code garbage. Do it. Yeah. I'm ready to keep my privacy. With ExpressVPN. Uh-huh. Because when you're surfing the net, you're exposed. Oh, baby. You're like a live wire. Anybody could f- sneak in there. What's Get caught with your pants down. What's literally. Literally. Get caught with your pants down. Now, yeah. I'm the tech guy around here, so I know about this kind of sure. stuff. Sure. You need a VPN, and Express can help you out. Turns out that incognito mode for your online activity still gets tracked. Data brokers still buy and sell your data day to day, every day, every minute. Dirt and bags. they're just stacking it. They're piling it up. Every time you connect to ExpressVPN, you get a random IP address shared by many other users of ExpressVPN. Uh, that makes it harder for third parties to identify and harvest your data. They're losing the tail. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like when the feds are on your tail. Shaking it. Shake them. That's right. Run it. Got to be able to stick and move. Burning red lights. That's, That's what ExpressVPN right. does. Best of all, ExpressVPN is super easy to use no matter what device you're on. Phone, laptop, smart TV, all you have to do is one tap of the button, instant protection. So if you really want to go incognito mode and protect your privacy, secure yourself with the number one rated VPN. Visit expressvpn.com slash garbage and get three extra months for free. That's express, E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash garbage. Go to expressvpn.com slash garbage to learn more. Back to the shop. Incognito mode. Um. This has been big. Uh, first of all, do you sneak food into a movie theater? I have. I like more sneaking beers into the movies. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't. I'm not a snacks guy. Really? Yeah, I like. I like. I'm not like candy. I don't really. I'm not big on candy or anything. But I'll sneak all the beers in the in the movie theater. I never for got sure. drinking at the movies. I like it. Oh, I mean, I've it's done like, it. Yeah. You, do, do you watch TV and drink? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, there you go. What's the it's difference? A big TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way bigger TV. Yeah, what are we talking about? It's I a... know, but there's a bunch of kids around eating candy and watching Toy Story. You haven't been to my house. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Toy Story? I could. Yeah, I could, yeah. That's but... not something you drink at. If you're going course. to, you know, um, I've, I've never actually... gone to a kids movie in a theater. I don't think. But <laughs> yeah, like... that's. I'm usually going to I see have. like uh, Saw or some shit like that, and you just crack a few beers. There you go. Yeah. All right. Watch That'll people get you. murdered. I've I've been in, I've been so drunk. I like you go obviously drunk. You've been drinking. Yeah. You get there. You sneak in some beers. You're having some pops in there. And then you're like, yo, it's time for a ciggy. We would sneak out, and then like you can't leave, and then really come back. So we would just like pop out like the fire exit and just like oh the one where the shooters would, come in yeah exactly Dude, that's so <laughs> trash just chain smoke a fucking cig and then fucking flick it you can't it. do that now yeah people would freak the fuck out i had sex in a movie theater in the Recently? daytime no this is back right before i moved to la 2017 this was the best public sex ever in the history of my life this is fucking this guy's steamy dude i i made this like joke to this girl about the alanis morissette song you know like that she go down on you in, in a theater. theater? I was like, I want to do that to a. Shout I want to Joey Gladstone. I want to go down on a girl in a theater. That's what I said to this girl. Whoa. Just like in that. the theater. I said I want to. I want to do that in a movie theater, like that song to a girl though. And she was like, Well, let's do it. So I scheduled. It was the movie was Phoenix Rising. Do you remember that movie? I don't. It was like a no. found. <laughs> the X Men movie. But this is the point. No, it's or the uh, Harry Potter. No, it was like a found footage alien movie, in 2017. And uh, basically, I picked the na- the movie that I'd never heard of before on the list. Sure. So and then the I picked a, empty. a matinee. Yeah. So it was 1230 in the afternoon on like a Monday. Oh, that's real creepy. And there was no one there. And we went into the back back corner and just went at it. It was the best. And then the movie was, I mean, we were like seven minutes in the movie by the time we were done. Nothing. Yeah, we you got to watch a bullshit well, movie. Well, then I go, we just walked out because I'm like, I don't want to see this fucking movie. <laughs> so I wonder what they thought, you know, when we were leaving, but. We just got out of there real quick. What'd you Damn. do with the Twizzlers and stuff like that? Never did see that movie, by the way. I never. We didn't buy any snacks. I 
You we go just, into a popcorn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Snuck in a couple of beers, though. I don't want to think it's suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't perform unless I got a couple in me. Get a couple milk duds. I'll know what I had to walk to. out, though, going like, that thing's trash. You know what I mean about the movie? Yeah, yeah. man. No wonder it was empty. That yeah. thing should have got your money back. I, this is that would have been something. That would have been a move right there. Will you do that at a restaurant or a bar or Never. like anything? Will you? No. Will you complain or ask no. for? No. I'm a simp. I'll fucking over tip even when it's. Yeah, I'm the same way. I just had an Uber driver the other night. I was so pissed because it was like the arrival time just kept stacking up and up and up. Uber like, fuck is. Dude, their time, their conception brutal. of time now is horrible. Brutal. So I'm just losing my mind. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. The driver pulls up. It's a cute girl. I'm listening. And she's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, it's okay. I don't yeah. even care. You want me to drive? And oh. I had the uh, setting. It was like quiet and cool, you know, like the temperature sure. and the, you know, the conversation. I just didn't want. I always put quiet. And she goes, how's your day? And I was like, oh, it's been great. How's your day? And she's talking. She goes, oh, I'm sorry. It says quiet. I go, oh, I don't even pay attention to those. I don't things. even know what that is. <laughs> and, of course, and she didn't have any sense of urgency. She drove 30 miles an hour on the highway. <laughs> there was no traffic. I was so late for dinner and. I still tipped her five stars. And yeah, I fucking gave her a fat tip because I'm a simp. Yeah, I, die. I get it. That's. But I'll over tip a waitress even if they fuck it up. It's always my fault for maybe I didn't speak clearly enough or whatever. You know. Well, yeah. you send something back and you do that, or do you just take only it as if it's is? like egregious? I mean, like if it has to be like there has to be a human finger severed in my sure yeah, in my yeah, yeah, soup yeah. for me. to And send even it then, back. I would still say so. I'm like, sorry, but I go, there was is that, a finger in here. I thought it might have been mine, but I got <laughs> yeah. all ten. And uh, I, I yeah. thought, yeah, I counted. I got them. I think he's married because there is a wedding. <laughs> yeah, you might want to you might want to alert the family. Yeah, I do not like doing that. Just because I mean, I my parents were diner working yeah, yeah, diners yeah, that, and shit yeah, too. I so remember like, that? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Um. Have you ever checked into a hotel room and then changed rooms? Been like this no. is no, no, yeah. I can't do that either because then I feel like they're gonna catch me and feel like I don't belong in the hotel. <laughs> the Ritz, I was, I was getting a little, a uh, couple of side eyes. I was getting a little ritzy at the Ritz. I kept going like, this air conditioner is not to my liking, yeah, and I thought get, about it for a you second. You get real rich when you start <laughs> yeah, spending yeah, yeah. some money. You're like this is unsatisfactory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought about. I'm like, should I switch rooms for? I'm like, no, nah, don't. Have the it. girl come up and fluff my pillows. They might check your. <laughs> they might check your. Fucking credit score or something to yeah. kick you out of here. I have that. I have that problem in a bank. Every time I go into a bank, I'm like, they're because for so long I've had to. I, we were so poor and we had to like, yeah, you know, you're you're overdrafting, but strategically for you know, yes. and like all this. Oh, of stuff. course, yeah. You go like, well, it'll lay over. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done roll that a this over. Times. I'm getting yeah. a direct deposit in yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll clean it up. You Maybe know? if I, I do it in... after nine, the charge won't go through oh, until yeah, you know yeah, you yeah, play yeah, that game. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I walk into a bank, I feel like I'm robbing it. I feel like they're going to be like, step in here. You owe us ten thousand dollars in fees. You haven't paid your taxes in seventeen years. Like you're a piece of shit. We've been waiting for you. Get in here. Mr. It's those well, cameras. I had a. I had one time. I had a bank account uh, when I moved to Cleveland. They didn't have the same bank that I had, so I had to open another account, and I just had such low credit and no money that I thought I wasn't able to open a bank account. So my dad had a bank account at PNC Bank. Now, my dad is no less trash than I. PNC Bank is not a great bank. So he had a bank account there, so I would get my sh- checks deposited into the, that account that we joined together. Okay. My father didn't pay his taxes. And they froze all his bank accounts, including mine then. Wow. And that's when I started getting like real scared about bank. Then I started like taking money out and like putting it in a jar. Do you I kept still hide scared. money? Sometimes. Like I used to be scared to look at my bank account because I would be scared of that neg that red number oh, with the man. negative next to it. Now though, I like look at it like four times a day. I go, look at that. Yeah. That's crazy. I'll still do that. <laughs> and it's not even that crazy. You know I don't, what I mean? Yeah, of course. I go like I'll have a couple thousand dollars. I go, I don't even need to look. You know what I mean? Like on a weekend, if I'm out spending, I'm like, oh, I went to dinner and that How was a hundred How fun is bucks. that? When you go, go to a place. I don't place, even fucking yep. care. The check comes and you just go. E-l-l-l-l-l. I go keep it. Yeah. I don't even just <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, in here. Yeah. Run, run the card. Yeah, the nice Run, ones, run the- theirs too. I don't care. Not looking at the check and just handing it to the credit yes. card. is great. Or like popping a tip on there and just going like, whatever. Yeah. But I had that exact same thing happen with your dad. That happened to me with uh, uh, Pennsylvania. It was years ago. I had like, I had just it deposited. It was years ago. I had just deposited like a $700 check. I had 700 bucks. Going into the weekend, I felt good. Like two hours later, I looked and it was gone. And I called them. I'm like, "What the fuck happened?" They were like, "Yeah, the uh, the state took it from a back tax." So Damn. I had to call the state and tell and like plead with them to put it back in, which it took like two weeks to put back in. So it wasn't even worth it. And at I that got point. back like twenty three tw- or two hundred and thirty dollars. For me, it was I I had just same thing. I had just gotten a deposit. I put. I think I just did the Revel Casino, and I had a five hundred dollar check that I just deposited from them. 
And I was like, sweet, the weekend's going to be good. And I went just to get gas. And not even that much, like 10 bucks. And it was like, your card's declined, your card's declined. <laughs> and I'm looking at my balance, five, you know, $500. Just mm-hmm. the, That was the only thing in there, is that one check. And then I call them and they're like, the IRS is uh, frozen oh. your bank account. And I was like, Dad? He's like, yeah. Hey, son. I got a, I'm on a plane to to Europe. No, <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> My name's Larry. Later, yeah, nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, was it? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what could have happened yeah. there. Huh. I can't hear you over the motor of the speedboat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll call you back in a minute when we get to land. <laughs> I've said this when we started. That's got to be really bad, though, right? What? Like, that's got to be years. What? Before they do make a move like that, right? They well, no, he owed a lot of money. Like a like yeah. real money. It was. Yeah, it was. Uh, he owned a business and it, it was all the business state taxes. And probably, then it was so, yeah. like hundreds of thousands of taxes. And so hundreds um, of thousands of dollars in taxes. Yeah. Like he was like looking at maybe jail and then he got out of that part. of it. Holy so. shit. Yeah. Um, so that's when they start raising red flags. When yeah. It's like that. Yeah. And it's right. also like if you go to them and say, like, hey, listen, uh, I may or may not have had some family members in very similar uh, situations. I got I to make, make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make a call. But there's a big thing, too, of it of like if you're not, ma- they're, they're saying they'll they mail you a certified letter and go, yes. hey, you owe $180,000 in taxes, penalty interest is running. Contact us. We can work out a payment plan. At least pay down yes. the principal. At least pay the penalties. They interest. work like, with you. They'll work with you because they're going to go like, we know you don't have five hundred thousand right. dollars. If you did, you would pay us. Yeah. So let's figure out how we can get our money. And, and if you just have to be open and like talk to them, and they'll right. go, okay. Show them all your but when stuff. you hide for five years, and then they go, oh, we'll fucking find you. Yeah. We'll freeze your shit. You'll come call them real quick. Uh, yeah. yeah. No shit. And then they work with you, uh, sort of. And then they're so, like, yeah. I mean, they're still fucking bending you over. But they'll work with you. It's so funny, though. Then you look at your own, like, with comedy or whatever. You're like, there's a couple of years there where I missed. And then you get it cleaned up, and you're like, oh, that's all it was? Yeah. I was sweating, like, $400. Dude, I got hit. I knew I had something sitting from the state of New York this year. And they were sending out the uh, refund checks. Oh, I, I never got one stimulus check, by the way. Oh, the, the stimulus checks. That's <laughs> yeah. what I meant. And I'm like, all Didn't right, I got one. 750 Why? coming. I don't know. I don't I think. Maybe tax something. I don't yeah. know. I didn't get a single one, yeah. not a one. But I felt kind of like good about it that I made it through without getting them. But I was like bragging about. It. I'm like, I didn't get any stimulus checks. Did this all in my <laughs> like own. I'm a patriot or yeah. something? You know? <laughs> I needed I it, but they didn't send it. To yeah, me. I, didn't I owe the, the government, government so much out. money they didn't pay me. Yeah. Crazy. I feel like I I kind of like didn't sweat them because now if they come after me, I'm like, well. I mean, we're even. Yeah, take the fourteen hundred <laughs> or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll care. There's you no know? way that argument's gonna hold up. What you got the stimmies? Huh? Yeah, I Nobody, thought we had an unspoken agreement. Nobody here. broke me off. No one gave me the stimmies. You get to keep that. That's... <laughs> we're shooting this on a stimulus check. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Patreon.com. Ah, oh, that's too funny. Um, all right, this one's from Timbo Slice. Uh, do you or anyone in your family own a shopping cart? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, people walking down the street with a shopping, <laughs> like a proper from a store shopping cart is bad. The ones that they steal from like the coin operated ones. Is That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fact that they had to coin operate carts is. Do you, was, at the, where do you shop? Will you food shop? When I was a child, I, well, now it's like in the West Coast, we have Vons. Uh-huh. And is that, they coin? Vons is like uh, the equivalent to, I don't even know what's in New York anymore as far as. Stores go, but Vons is like the where middle. like well you know chicken yoga pants to shop. It's not like you know Trader Joe's or anything, sure. but it's like the uh, middle of the road. Okay, it's yeah, like a yeah. Wegman's gotcha. actually. Oh, Wegman's, Wegman's, oh, Wegman's is top notch. Yeah, yeah, Wegman's is top notch, but Vons is like you know right tops or something. I don't know okay. how to describe. But then there's Johns. Yikes! There's Vons and there's Johns. Johns, Johns does sounds not real sound trash. good, but it's uh, you know a lot more ethnic food and it's I. So there's a Johns and then there's a Vons, but the Johns is closer to my house. I go there. But in the East Coast, we were uh, a Wegmans family. For Damn, sure. Wegmans is great. Yeah, yeah, Wegmans is fantastic. But shopping carts. It's pretty classy for living on a turnpike, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Well, well there Wegmans. was a, a Bell's much closer that we would go to often, but uh, that became quality markets, and then that became Tops friendly markets. Got a bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> Still a grocery, so it's like an airplane hangar. But uh, <laughs> shopping carts, though, is so wild. I never understood i get it like why a homeless person would want one 
When you yeah, were a kid, you want to Yeah, as a kid, they're cool. And you're like, oh, I can. That's you know. a fucking race car. Do you know what we did one time as kids? We stole the uh, scooters shopping carts. Really? really? Like the you know? motorized ones? Yeah, yeah. And we, That's uh, a slow getaway. Well, yeah. They didn't notice. <laughs> we went down the street. We went as far as we could go till they stopped like working. Sure. And then we just ditched them in like the, the woods. That's good. That's took, a good. That's took a, good a rascal thing. for a joyride. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was fun. They didn't go very far, for, no. very fast, but we were like, nah, 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 you know. Then we, we took like, the hubcaps and the headlights. My mom also used to uh, work at a, a fast food restaurant that had patio furniture, you know, like for people to eat on mm-hmm. the patio. Sure. And this is uh, they decided well. to get rid of it. Yikes. So my mom took two of them sets and put them in our backyard oh, for patio wow. furniture. That's bad. What color were they? Oh, they were gross. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know how to describe oh, these, but they were God. like not even like sets. They were like uh, a circular s- stool seat mm-hmm. attached to like a table, but they were like made of pla- They were all one piece. Oh, I know those things. Yes. Wow, they're not good. No, yeah, they look. That's a bad. Dude, that's yeah. Bad. And my mom was like, well, just take them for the backyard as opposed to like, you know, a regular table. Yeah. It's okay. like having one of those chess sets they have in parks in your backyard. Yeah. yeah it's like a Formica picnic table or whatever. <laughs> Did your parents smoke cigarettes? No. 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 I, I started. The only reason I started smoking cigarettes really is because I had this morning radio job in Cleveland that I hated. And I worked with this dipshit, Chuck Booms, who's like an 80s comic. <laughs> And he was so terrible, and he just haunted my day every day. And I would need to get out of these meetings, and I couldn't perpetually smoke weed. So I just started smoking cigarettes to get outside away sure. from this guy. And, uh, yeah, no, here I am smoking. <laughs> and now we're here. I started smoking at 25. That's how late. I wow, started that's old. Again. Yeah. Damn. Then I got a room at the Ritz. Yep. That's right, baby. I feel like I, uh, I said to myself I'd quit at 35, but then pandemic hit so we're yeah, I got to quit. Going. Keep it moving. It's getting bad. Yeah, we're going to keep going. Everybody started smoking during the pandemic. Uh, yeah, I started back in the fucking pandemic like a fucking Well, my idiot. 35th birthday, the one I claimed I would quit on was during pandemic. So yeah. I was like, fuck that. Yeah, you got you to <laughs> see this thing through. You know what yeah. I mean? This could be the end of days. I don't exactly. want to go out like a pussy. <laughs> Can't pull out now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I might not even count it as my. I might be thirty four still right now. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, just yeah, put that exactly. as a watch. That was a gimme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting chased by a zombie with a piece of Nicorette in my mouth. I can tell you that. <laughs> that patch will slow fuck, you down. If <laughs> I want two chainsaws and a Marlboro Red. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, this one's funny. This is from uh, Angel. Uh, you ever change the channel on your TV with something other than a remote? Uh, i.e. like a golf club. Like you were too lazy to get up, so you like poked oh. it or something. I've used a golf club for sure. What? Oh, golf yeah. club? Is it Sanford and Son? No, there's just one. You're like, just like fucking. You mean like, like push when the there's no remote, the so you've yeah. got to change it, and you're standing there like an idiot. I'm too blind to like have that coordination to go across <laughs> the room like that and touch it that way, but uh, I've definitely just like succumbed to whatever's on the TV if I can't find oh, it. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Where you just go like, well, infomercials it is, I suppose. That's or- what we say all the time, especially you know, the road now, like hotels. Of like, I'll watch anything in a hotel room, just like yep. on a proper cable. If like anything, like, law, law and Order. I'll Mario fucking- Lopez tells me about the new movies for oh, fucking three hours long. Know. You know what I mean? That guy's like, working, dude. I can't turn that shit off. I'm just like, all right, I'll hear about Jungle Cruise. <laughs> ah, Emily Blunt's in that. All right, <laughs> yeah. on the Rock teaming up. <laughs> I just got the hotel I'm in right now had a thing where it was like use your phone to change the channel. Have I don't like that. Those? I don't like. I don't want to be linked all. up. That's too much. Yeah. It's got a giant QRC code on the TV, and you like scan it, and then it's a, the remote all of a sudden shows up on your phone. You uh, that's how they. That's how they watch you spanking it later on. That's yeah. fine. Let them watch it. I don't <laughs> really. Shit. There's dude. I've I've succumbed to Give the a little treat. Big brother is watching it. Let yeah. him have it. You know. Here's all my porn. I just recently lost my. Here's a trash story. I lost my debit card recently and uh, had to do an OnlyFans audit because I found out how many, <sighs> like through the you know rebill, uh-huh. it lapsed. So a bunch of my things were like, your subscriptions up. It was like, go, 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 go. And I go, I was subscribed to all those. Only- really? OnlyFans was like my biggest utility. Oh, my God. Yeah, and I didn't even, it's more than fucking cable. I didn't even realize it. And I go, oh, my Lord. You're being that much, really? I was Because of a pandemic, I must have been taking Xanaxes and subscribing to fucking <laughs> OnlyFans. Just by his own rules. Yeah, and I, we I got, know what you were doing. I lost yeah. the... I lost the uh, he was doing more scientific card. research, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really glad I lost that debit card, because then I went through and I was like, which accounts do I need and which do I not? Yeah, you can't get rid of all of them. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
We Still got to stay informed every day. Yeah. Oh, of course. I pared it down to what I've only been using. That's crazy. Time. I'm not an OnlyFans guy. Oh, I love it. I But I do feel like once I pull the trigger, I I've love... never paid for porn. And I think of the one time I do pull the trigger, I'm like, I then like paying the for real girls, you know, in real life's porn. That makes sense. That Because I'm not like doing like pro porn stars sites. I'm doing like, oh, I know this girl from comedy. Uh, not even kind, sure. not, I don't do those ones, <laughs> yeah. but like a bartender or like a waitress, you know, or like this girl from your friend's friend or whatever. Those girls that have only fans, I'm like, well, shit, I guess I'll. Invest sure. In that. Yeah. You know I mean? That's the tangible aspect. Yeah. Of it. Oh, my God. Do they know you? Oh, yeah. I'm I'm a big I almost was like doing consulting. I'm like, you're missing out on an opportunity here. <laughs> you can have a desk doing... lamp at the house. Yeah. You... Get yourself a ring light. It's like a podcast, like, you know, how they're like, oh, you guys got to get a Patreon for them. I'm like, you got to get those pay-per-views going. You got to get those. <laughs> you have your monthly sub, but get the pay-per-view content going. and they're, You're leaving money on the table. Lady. They're making a lot of money, those gals. There are two there. women that I have, like, encouraged to do OnlyFans. I just go, if you did an OnlyFans, you'd make a killing. And they're like, huh, look at it. And then they started doing it. And now they're like, thank you. Yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's I bought a Beamer. That's so creepy. That's <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's not even. I I it does you sound bar, creepy. I'll take a club burger, a Bud Light, and I want to run over. I some I, I, I am like a, I'm like an OnlyFans scout. I'm like, <laughs> listen, you got what it you takes. You got what it takes. With yeah. my help and a lot of practice, you could be the best. Like John Lovitz in a league of their own. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you got the stuff, toots. There's no crying in OnlyFans. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh man. Carla uh, Hooch. Oh, God. <laughs> League of Their Own, classic film, by the way. If that comes on in a hotel, oh, that's oh, I'm not. I'm canceling the that's show. Staying oh, yeah. on. I ain't fucking yeah. leaving. A Dottie was a piece. Oh, oh dude, Dottie God. had Dottie. it going Shout on. To her. I like Kit, too. I mean. I didn't like. She, I loved her all throughout yeah. the 80s and 90s. She, she was, was great. great. All the girls in that movie. I mean, uh, I think. Uh, Rosie, too, could get it. Who is. Uh, who's the dude? Uh, Marshall. Gary. Gary Marshall. Of course. Wasn't he fucking Betty Spaghetti? Or is that his daughter? <laughs> Betty Spaghetti in that movie is someone Carl Reiner's daughter, maybe I don't know. I don't know. That uh, would all make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. all they all operate in something the same like world. that. Yeah. Was, was he fucking Betty, <laughs> or was it his daughter? <laughs> or was it his daughter? <laughs> yeah. Also, he dropped what Betty. He dropped Betty Spaghetti like it was. Oh know. yeah, I got them all up there, <laughs> rattling around. He's got all their cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm on. I'm on Betty Spaghetti's only fan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Spaghetti. I went for it, and Toby was pointing. He's like, that's it. Someone get it. <laughs> you see the new filter? That was all me. I told her. <laughs> She's doing those pay-per-views now. Spend the night with spaghetti, they call it. <laughs> it's crazy. She fucks the spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, it's called a- Italian night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, let's do a couple more here, and we've got to wrap it up. This has been a fucking heater, so- baby. I've been having a great time. Shout out to Tootie South down here. Um, this one's funny. I never thought about it. This is from Jay. Do you still raise your phone in the air to try to catch a signal? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Like you're, the choppers are coming. You're like fucking, you're doing this thing. That's trying hilarious. Trying to go upstairs and stuff. <laughs> Hell oh, my yeah. God. Shit, that's so funny. That's uh, who hasn't really done good. that? Uh, who hasn't walked around? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I still, I catch myself. I'm like, you goddamn 5Gs, what the fuck? <laughs> Why it would go better up here, you know? And I don't know. <laughs> That's I think so you're funny. calling in a fucking airstrike. Oh, Let's man. go. <laughs> Some of their questions are so good. The brain dude. they eat. Um, this one I feel you probably are opinionated on. This one's from Grayson. I uh, never had a question read yet. How many times will you pee in a toilet before flushing? Also, too, I want to add, when do you flush in the, in the, in the, in the journey? I'm a... You know, I'm not a yellow let it mellow guy. You go down every I'll time. I'll flush every fucking cool. time. Yeah, I don't even I never I'll, got I'll, that. I'll like spit in the toilet and flush. I'll flush all day long. I don't give <laughs> I a go fuck. and check. What am I wasting water? Who gives yeah, a shit? I, I don't know. care about the end. When I'm out of town, I pay someone to go over and kick flush. <laughs> <laughs> Let them know what's up. And then when do you flush if you're peeing at the toilet? Do you wait until you're completely done, zip back up and flush? Because I'll go like midway through. I'll hit the flush. Why? What? I feel like they kind of race it a little bit. Uh, when you perfectly time it, it's incredible. It's like, yeah, it's like coming. It's like coming at the Four Seasons. Just I don't like it. Like that's like playing slot machines. I don't like that. <laughs> because <laughs> then you leave some yellow in there and you're... 
I if, know. If it's, then you flush again. Fuck this environment. Yeah, no, but hold yeah. on. If it's an old school toilet, you got to stand on like a jerk off. For well, a couple yeah, minutes that's like and <sighs> wait till it fills back up. Right. right. You just walk out and blame it on the cat or something. Ah, oh, it's a tough look. I yeah. don't like leaving yellow in there. You know, I uh, will pee all over the floor. Though. I forget where was <laughs> I. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it was a green room. Uh, I was in recently, and a guy pissed, and I went in after him, and. There was piss in the toilet. I'm like, this fucking animal doesn't flush in the green room. Uh-huh. It was wild. Yeah, green room. That's a bar. If you're drinking, you're drunk. Well, it's like bar, it's, it's yeah. chaos. You it know should what I mean? Just be a hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I, they have at Shoney's. I yeah. go in there lawless. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we have to go. We have to go to a Shoney's now. Next you time. You got to. That's I can't believe you have. It. I think there's still one off 95. They're in North Carolina, all over the place. There's still one, like a Shoney's. Uh, I like a Bob Evans, too. I'm not going to lie. Bob Evans down on the farm. Not too bad. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. This one's from Neil, first time patron. Uh, have you ever been blacklisted from a local pizza place because you got dr- you drunk ordered and passed out before it arrived too many times? Uh, there was a store called Zoni. I knew he was going to have. I knew this was going to hit. Oh, this one's big for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I knew it was going to hit, dude. Just send it over now. I'll still pay for it. <laughs> there was a, uh, it wasn't a pizza place, but it was a calzone place. It was called, <laughs> it was called Zonies, and you could get all Ooh. these different calzones, and they would deliver till 5 a.m., and I would pass out all that my wake up 27 missed, missed calls. calls. Yeah. But there was one time that I went uh, down to get it from the door. And I had one of those doors where, like, the fire door closes behind you, mm-hmm. and then you're, like, you're stuck outside of your apartment. Yeah. I lived on the third floor, and I was wasted. And instead of just, like, a normal person just buzzing all the the building units to get back in, I managed to go up the gutters and scale Holy my building shit. and jump into the third story window and I almost died and I swear to God there was like I called my roommate after I go I just scaled the building I'm fucking Spider-Man and then I like went back downstairs and got my Zony off the porch oh my God it was the best feeling of my life must be hell of a cow zone yeah okay. right this guy's well, that's really going it all went, for a Zony and, it, and those things were horseshit I'm, I'm sure gonna, dude yeah. there, is, there is nothing trashier than a place that just sells cow zones yeah. yeah that's something that you get at a pizza place what's hilarious I feel like it was a mafia front because they had like changed their names a couple of times, but they just kept taking different parts of the word calzone. So it would be like cows. <laughs> and then now they're zonies. And you're like, wait a minute. What's going on? Yeah, here? yeah, yeah. And then they're like, alzes. <laughs> <laughs> Alzos. Over at knees. <laughs> yeah. Over at knees, we make the best calzones. <laughs> knees, yeah, the first I, I'll, day I'll never the forget calzone. scaling that building because uh, it was like, it was just going up on the ledges of the. That's Lord fucking crazy. So did they yeah. cut you off? Uh, they never cut me off, but I was known. Yeah. <laughs> I was a known guy. We did it one time in North Carolina with a stripper. We ordered a stripper. We got back from the bar. Like, let's get a stripper. Oh. Me and, like, it was, like, three or four buddies. <laughs> She's just outside. Uh, yeah, she hours. was, dude, she Getting was cold. so <laughs> mad, dude. Banging on the door. And we were fucked. We were drinking Rumplemans all night, so there was no way we were waking up. <laughs> She's banging on the door, and you leaving voicemails. You fucking pieces of shit. You owe me money. We walk down, and we're like, oh, like, you wake up, we're like, oh, whatever, that was funny. And then, like, they're in the lobby, they're like, hey, did you order, like, a delivery last night? We're like, oh, fuck. They hated oh, us God, at the dude. place. I just recently had the thing happen where I ordered, I've been, I uh, twice now in the last month, I ordered from 7-Eleven on Postmates, you know? Quit bragging. One of those. Whew. Getting snacks and shit, like a dipshit. <laughs> and uh, I had, uh, and Slurpee. yeah, I had the, I had, one night I fell asleep. So sure. I missed it. The next time I did it, the do guy they leave com- it or they well, just. Well, the next got time I do it, the guy comes and he goes, hey, I had you last week. Uh, you never came. I left it right here. Did oh, you get shit. it? Oh, shit. And I go, yeah, I did. I never got it. I yeah. <laughs> but I lied to him and said I did, you know. He but was the- probably lying to you. He knew you were lying. Well, the fact There's no that- way he left it. Well, the fact that I had the same guy twice freaks me out. Yeah, from 7-Eleven. From Postmates yeah. in general. Just like. The same guy? That's weird. It's time I don't to start like that. Shit together. Yeah. I'm not. I gotta stop postmating. Yeah. Hey, Josh. From... Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe take a walk to the store <laughs> instead of uh, postmates style. Yeah. I can't have running out of postmates drivers. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's just weird. giving you rides places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just for Josh you. again. They just know. They're just yelling into my window as I'm <laughs> passed out. Josh, it's me. Yeah. 
Josh, it's me, Randy. The Don't do this here. again, you scumbag. <laughs> Josh, you're tearing us apart. I'm going to give you a one-star rating, Josh, next time, I swear. Um, all right, let's do one more. This one's just fucking funny. This is from Throbin Williams. I don't know if that's Ooh. his government name. Uh, ever been chased more than once by the same dog? <laughs> <laughs> you're doing something wrong. <laughs> If you're getting chased by that by dogs multiple times, I feel like that's like an old timey neighborhood story. You know, like yeah. the neighborhood dog that chases you. Yeah, 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 I would always be the kid that would be like, "Oh, the doggy," and then it would be like, "I'd be getting bit by the dogs." <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever been responsible for a dog being put down? Is the <laughs> is the true yeah. question? <laughs> well, you know, like you turned them in because they bit you, you or bit something you? like that, oh, or they? I would it's... feel so bad. I would feel terrible. Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. So, but you know, there's always that story where it's like, oh, the dog bit the neighbor kid, and now we got to kill it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great story to end on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever maim a child? Yeah. <laughs> you ever turned state state's evidence against a golden retriever? <laughs> oh God. Funny, Josh. Thank you so this much. This was so for much fun, man. Hey guys, thank you for having me, making my trip down here worthwhile. For Tony's sure. timeshare, baby. We're having Love fun. Hell yeah, dude. What do you got coming up? You want the folks out there to know? Hit them right. Uh, I'm gonna be at Buffalo Helium uh, for. Thanksgiving weekend, actually, Ooh. if this comes out in time for, for that sure. five for shows. Sure. And uh, next year, we got a bunch of gigs 2022 lined up. Uh, but the Josh Potter Show comes out every Tuesday. Go check out the Josh Potter Show on YouTube. And uh, there you'll find all my tour dates as well and everything. So fantastic. Love Kevin, what do you got for him? Uh, at Kevin Ryan Common on social media. Uh, we'll be in upstate New York. We're going to be in Albany, Syracuse. And we'll also be in Hartford. Oh, yeah. Middle of December. Get tickets for that. Uh, and then, yeah, 2022, we're going to be fucking locked, loaded, headed everywhere, baby. Rocking and rolling, gang. We love you. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.